So if you're tired of spam just clogging up your inbox, I'm going to show you a simple way to filter out spam emails or even just unwanted emails in Gmail with this little trick that I just discovered. And I want to show you how this works. So first of all, you want to go into the desktop of Gmail, going directly to gmail.com. Go into your settings, the little gear icon up here, and you'll find there's tons of things in this little menu that if you take some time to explore, you'll see a lot of different options. But what, what you want to do is you want to click on see all settings right there at the top. And that gives you everything rather than just the quick access portion. Then you want to go over to filters and blocked addresses. Now, one of the options that you can do is if you know that there's certain email addresses that from companies or, you know, even your your uncle that you don't want to get to his, his crazy uh, emails, you can block specific email addresses if you know exactly who they are. And that is down here where you can just add a new email address to block. So if you're you're having trouble from a certain email address, that's a great way to do it. But what I'm going to show you here is if you set up a filter. Now I've got a couple of filters already in place, but if you want to just add a new filter, click create new filter. And again, you could filter out from a certain email or, you know, if there's certain keywords in the subject line that you want to get out. But one of the things that I think is really helpful is if you go to has the words then in the box has the words type unsubscribe. Because if you think about a lot of the Gmail accounts that you have down at the bottom of their email, they'll have a little box that you can click on to unsubscribe. Well, rather than going through each and every one of those and you're always getting new ones and unsubscribing to each one, you could just have it filter out all of the emails that have the unsubscribe there. So this box here allows you to search the entire email. If it sees the word unsubscribe, it will automatically do whatever you tell it to do. So once you have that put in here, you can go to create filter, and then you have a lot of options. You could throw it into a separate folder that you call spam, send it to another email address. You could do whatever you want, or you could just simply click delete it. And when you do that, if it sees the unsubscribe, then it will automatically delete it. And you can see over here, uh, there's several of them already popping up in my email address that it, it, it has found those words. And it's a really powerful search tool. If there's keywords that emails keep going to your spam folder, because Gmail, to be honest with you, has a really great spam folder. But sometimes there's emails from a company that you do want to get. Maybe there's certain coupons or things like that. You could also have create a filter and say, don't send this to the spam folder. Uh, if you do want to see it. But in this case, I'm going to say I want to get rid of all those and I don't need them. Now, the thing, too, to remember is when you click on delete uh, as an option that you still have 30 days to recover anything from your delete folder. So if you are worried about like, oh, I, I don't want to miss something if it's crucial, you know, just every once a month or whatever, you can go in the, into your delete folder and just make sure that there's nothing that's in there that, that is about to be deleted that you didn't want. And then you simply click create filter. And that's it. And then you can see all these emails, rather than going into your primary mailbox, they will go directly into the trash. But I hope this little tip helps you to help clean up your inbox, create less stress so that everything is sort of organized in one place. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.